I'm Tadashi Ono. And I'm Harris Salat. And we're the co-authors of a cookbook called Japanese Hot Pots. And today we're going to show you one of our favorite hot pots, a hot pot that smells fantastic and has beautiful root vegetables, mushrooms, salmon. Tadashi, what is this hot pot called? Uh, this is called uh, Ishikari Nabe. Okay, and why is it called Ishikari? Ishikari is a pot. It gets a lot of salmon. Okay. It's in Hokkaido era, area. It's northern Japan. And um, so this is a traditional hot pot from northern Japan? Yes. All right. Yes. And here we have a whole bunch of ingredients. Sadashi, maybe you can explain to us what these ingredients are. And these are the ingredients that go right. into the hot pot, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, we have a potato, Idaho, and onion, and cabbage. These are the ingredients you get a uh, lot in Hokkaido. Area. Okay. And then I see spinach, shiitake, enoki mushrooms, tofu. What is that? Uh, white... Over that's there. a harusame noodle, which made out of uh, potato starch. And that's a really beautiful salmon that yeah, you have. Yeah, we got it from the Alaskan king, king salmon. Wow, so beautiful. Gorgeous, yes. And one of the things we talk about in our cookbook is that there are four things to remember when you're cooking a hot pot. Prep, broth, build, cook. And if you can remember those four things, you can cook any hot pot in Japan, in our book or not in our book. That's uh, right. And in, in this, uh, you know, here we have a number of ingredients that we've already prepped, and then we also prepare the broth ahead of time. Tadashi, tell us about the broth. Yes, we have a, a miso broth, which has a, a dashi, okay. Japanese basic stock, and uh, white miso, which is a soybean paste, okay. and mirin, it, has a, it gives a body and oh. sweetness. Okay, so yes. you mix these ahead of time yes, and yes. combine them and you have the broth. Exactly. Okay, yes. so now, what are the next steps we have uh, prepped we have the broth, yes. now we have to build the hot pot. Tadashi, maybe you can explain that here. Yes, in this hot pot, we already have uh, uh, ingredients it takes time to cook, which has a potato, onion, and cabbage. Okay, so It's been cooking about uh, 15 minutes now. It has to be boiled, then after boil, it takes three minutes to get cooked through. Okay, so yes. you cook these very, um, these ingredients that take longer to cook, you started yes. that ahead of time, so you're yes. cooking in stages here. Exactly. Yes. Okay, so once the, these ingredients are ready, what is the next step? Yes, we're going to build the ingredients okay. with... Okay, you're a chef, so you can use okay. your hands, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> That's okay. I'm tofu. just kidding. Okay, so these are yes. beautiful enoki mushrooms. Okay, enoki mushroom. Okay. And I'll put a little... This is shiitake. Shiitake mushroom. Wow, looks and fantastic. And you put all these ingredients in... in uh, uh, each spot, so you, after you easy to find the ingredients. Yeah, and it also looks yes. beautiful too. So you're exactly you're so. arranging these yes. ingredients in, in kind of, you know, neat orderly bunches. So everything yes. looks really beautiful. Exactly. Uh, talk to us about the salmon, Tadashi. Okay, this is a, uh, bottom the body part of salmon. So okay. So it's a little wide. So I'm gonna take off little body. Oh, so area. make these bite-sized yeah. pieces. Exactly. Then and are you cutting with the grain? Uh, grain goes this way, so okay. I'm gonna uh, follow the grain, I so see. It, it doesn't fall apart. So you have the fish, and you're slicing it on an angle with the grain, so it doesn't fall apart. Tadashi, why are you cutting it on an angle? Like uh, this. It doesn't fall apart in the broth when it gets boiled. Oh, then, so the angle yes. also helps. It does help. Keep, yes. keep the uh, salmon together yes, so it doesn't fall exactly. apart. Yes. And you're keeping the skin on, I see. Oh, skin gives a good flavor too. I and see. also, it stays together. The meat. Stays okay, so it holds the, the, the flesh holds of the, the fish meat. together exactly. too. Wow, these yeah. are really gorgeous slices. Beautiful salmon. Yeah. From Alaska salmon. And I see that what Tadashi is doing is he's kind of drawing the knife through the through the fish to cut it really gently. Yes. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. See? Okay. All right. So now, this would cook down for a while. It's almost ready. It looks great. Yeah. It's beautiful. Cooked. And It's almost done. Yes. Now you would add the fish. Yes. Okay. So Tadashi right. built, the, built the hot pot, and now we're just cooking it. It's that simple. Exactly. You just add some. Yeah. It looks great. Nice. So you okay. add the salmon. You let that cook for a while, and then the last step is you add uh, the spinach, right? Yeah, spinach cooks very fast, maybe so that's like why 30 you, seconds, so okay. you put very at the end. At the very end. So you're going to cut the cover You cover again, it, let it cook through, it cook and then you add the spinach. spinach. And at once this is all done, this is the result. What we had here in the beginning, 
this beautiful hot pot. So let's give it a taste, Tadashi. Let's see what we got here. Wow, Tadashi, this is so good, so delicious, and so simple to make. Isn't it? Really it's amazing. So wonderful. Well, I hope you folks at home try to make uh, some great hot pot yourselves, or visit Tadashi's fantastic restaurant, Matsuri, in New York City, and try one of the ones that Tadashi will cook for you at the restaurant.